What's going on guys? Back again. Got another video. This time I've got this marble light that one of my friends got me for Christmas. A loyal customer as I said the other day. I'm going to be painting this, see if I can upgrade it. Make a little stand for it. And then see how it looks. Should make it a little bit better that. Give it hard me wires underneath there and get a couple of figures next to it. So I'm going to go and spray it now. Take it downstairs, got a load of spray paint the other day as well. So, also, I need to be cleaning out my lizards, so I'll give you a quick look at these now. The little home barber chair. And there's my two lizards. Green basilisk and green water dragon. Nice big custom tank that I made myself. Seven foot tall. Four foot wide, two foot deep. Here's all my spray paint anyway. Probably going to use this nice red one. So you take that out now and I'll spray it. Just leave it out there for 20 minutes, half an hour, just to air out and dry. Let the fumes evaporate. Stinks. Just leave it out there for 20 minutes, half an hour, just to air out and dry. Let the fumes evaporate. Stinks. So while I'm still waiting for the base for that to dry, I'm going to change that Punisher Dial armor with the Hydra Dial. So I'll just swap them around now. There's all the figures out. I just need to take this out. There we have it, it's empty. There it is, comes apart nice and easy. I'll just empty this one. There it is, there's all the Hydra. And now a nice empty dial to work with. This is probably my least favourite dial that I've done this. This is the first one I ever made, so as you can see it's all chipped and coming apart there where I was just using a marble pen. And it's just coming off, but I'll probably give that a little revamp maybe. But yeah, not really happy with that one, but it's a learning curve. Compared to that one, that's a hell of a lot better. But I'll take this out now and swap them around. And we're done. Swapped it round, a little bit of glare off the lights, definitely, definitely think I need to upgrade this a little bit more, just add a little bit more, a little bit more stuff on the walls, as I said I've got two of these here which I'm going to spray up, <coughs> which I could use, two of them off, two chocolatey glares, don't know what I could use them for but, figure something out maybe. I have something on the floor maybe, some pipes coming out. I think it's sorting out in a minute. Well it's still not dry anyway so while I'm waiting I've just made another little fence. Just to go on the top of that there, paint it green. Just to finish that a little bit off. Give me a little bit more stuff to do, a little bit more detail. Well it's still not dry anyway so I'm not going to be able to finish this video today. But I have just... <laughs> Made the little green fence to go to the top of there. So there's that dial finished off. Another little bit added onto it. Um, and now I've just threw a few more figures in there. I'm going to rearrange all this as well, but not in this video. So I'm just going to call this video, but then I'm going to put all them back. 
all the hard soldiers I'll just do them because I don't know I'm going to rearrange them but that's something else I'll sort out but yeah I'm going to call this video just call it an end on this video I think um, and then I am going to be doing unboxing that and then doing unboxing all the Venom Pool figures so that's where I'm up to anyway so just thought I'd show you where I'm up to and I'll see you all in the next video